for a girl. He literally backstabbed his friend for a girl. He backstabbed his friend for a girl. Yeah, yeah, you definitely get girls, buddy. So some of the biggest liars on the platform, this friend group is mad that their friend got fired from a comedian group for some reason. And that they and they're saying that they're being homophobic and they're censoring my sexual exploitation story, which all is incorrect and is just proved to have no validity to it at all. Nobody is looking at the other side. It's just them and their liberal audiences suppressing everybody else that comes out with a different story from the other perspective and they only want people to see it from their sides because if anybody else looks at any other side then they know that they're full of crap and they know they're just making crap up for basically attention okay ethan is online has been enroped of course with an attention whore is only making up these false allegations to get more attention to herself in her sexual story whatever they're trying to call out these this comedian group and trying to say they're, they're suppressing it and they're hurting her friend who's gay and saying gay jokes that he doesn't like even though in the DMs he was saying that he did like it and he was comfortable with it and it would be weird if the comedian stopped making these jokes she mentioned basically that they did not come to her birthday why does not coming to your birthday correlate the same with them suppressing your s and saying that it's uh, trying to suppress sexual exploitation and grape as she said because of course it's just what she said she bring no no actual proof or validity to her arguments okay and she never actually mentioned a why or how it happened all we know now is that she's crying when 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 on the internet everybody every liberal every simp is simping for them i've seen this happen in real life and then this this friend group ex is backstabbing people is writing false allegations against them to get a sniff just a sniff a box they're just looking they're so desperate for a girl they're so desperate. They have no game. They're dumb, stupid, liberal soy boys. They cannot get a girl. They're not funny. They're stuck up. They're on their high horse. No chick digs that. That they will go to the depths of accusing someone of grape and saying, yes, this is true. I don't care about the facts. Of course, I'm going to take the side of a personal friend of mine when she comes out with a story about her own sexual assault. This isn't like an online, like normal thing where I look at all the facts and I, and I make a decision. No. My friend was assaulted and never felt like she was able to be heard. And obviously, I believe her word. I don't really understand where people are coming from when they call me a liar with an agenda. You Nick is not green, has said, I do not care about the facts. I'm going to believe my friend over any facts at all. Basically, and when the other and when the other person clapped back to really, oh, I don't know. It's a he said she said situation and this and that, which is all completely false. H how can you say number one? It's my friend, so I don't care about the facts. And then when the facts come out, that there was no validity to her argument. You say, well, I don't know, guys. It's just a he said she said situation. I don't want to take a side. You already took a side, and you are showing how biased you are. These liberals are so biased. It's amazing to me. Okay. And Ethan doing a celebratory live stream that super mega is losing thousands of subs because you all boldface lied about them to destroy their career. And now Ethan is online is going around celebrating it on stream saying it's a good thing to do. Nick is not green saying he doesn't care about facts and basically this whole friend group being a bunch of attention whores and only taking her side because they are her, her friend. And then basically what happened in the sexual exploitation <laughs> the grape which never happened because it has not been proved to happen okay she said, oh, he, he was mean to me, and he forced me to give him head. And he basically, she basically said, and he pushed me and it hurt, and he did not care. When in actuality, what happened when the boyfriend came out, which they're all trying to bash and say, oh, you're a great best. I've seen this happen in real life, bros. They will do anything to get a sniff of a woman because they are too desperate and they have no game and they're not funny and women don't find them desirable. They will make up literal lies and go with her for her attention seeking and lying about something or someone that didn't work out with. Okay, this has happened and these are what these guys are doing. But he basically said, no, that's not what happened. Basically, I asked for head and she said no because she was sick. And then I asked again. And she said yes. And then she said I was being too rough. I guess when he like pushed her a little or something. Because guess what? When people have sex, they get a little rough. Yeah. I thought you were saying that we were the brainwashed 
people who don't know about sex just because we're telling you not to jack off. Yet you are the literal definition, Ethan, of the purity culture, which don't know about sex. Okay? Yes, sometimes it gets a little rough. But he apologized when she said that. And then her, she spun that and used it as a false grip story to attack him. And in the and of course, everybody is attacking this dude. Everybody's saying, you're a grapist. You'll always be known as a grapist. This is that. And everybody else is supporting her. All these stupid furry liberals of her audience pages attacking him. And they are sending people to attack him and actively saying, like, it's just wrong. Like, they're sending their audiences to attack this guy. Who is being falsely accused by these horny, horny men and this dumb whore. She's falsely accusing him of grape with no proof. And they were just jumping on the bad wagon saying, I don't care about the proof. Nick is not clean said, I do not care about the proof because she is my friend. And Ethan is online is celebrating him getting falsely accused because he finally, he finally, he finally got real contact with a woman. Keep these guys away from any woman at all costs. They are so, so, so desperate that they will literally falsely accuse and lie about someone and backstab someone just for some touching, a wo another woman, a woman being in contact with him. Ethan, you are so bad. You not only are calling us brainwashed for telling you not to jack off all day, every day. You not only are siding with liberal art even though it looks like crap just because it's liberal and you're saying the beauty doesn't matter and all it. You are also backstabbing your friends and lying about them for a sniff of a woman liking you maybe possibly because you are so sex deprived and addicted to prawn. This is what we warned you of Ethan. We warned you that your addiction was not healthy. We warned you that maybe you should, I don't know, talk to some woman yourself. So now you've gone to the desperation and the point where you now beg for it. You need it. You need it. You need it. And you need it so bad and you were so desperate for it and you could not get it yourself because they do not desire, um, some dude who just sits around jacks off and smokes weed and eats himself away and doesn't go gym. Like, uh, how are you like probably way lighter and way shorter than me and still <laughs> have less of a chin? <laughs> and now you've gotten to the point where you have to lie and you have to be a snake and you will become a terrible, terrible human being that is putting out false, grave allegations with no proof or facts whatsoever, just believing whatever the woman says. Oh, believe all women. You become that guy and we warned you about it. This is your fault, Ethan, and you need to fix this. This is disgusting behavior. Not only before were you promoting prawn to children, not only before were you offended at the groomer narrative, even though nobody said you were a groomer, and then defend the liberal arts, but you become into a false accuser and someone who ruins lives just for a woman to like you. You are disgusting, you are a simp, and you should feel sorry for your actions. You should definitely be sued for, for spreading this false rhetoric. You are a slime of the earth, you are a slithering snake, and I hope you get what's coming to you.